Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video with the Transfer Portal CFP, presented by No Context CFP. Today, to celebrate the 2022 season that's coming right up around the corner, let's talk about some random facts, 22 of them to be exact. We'll start off with this. In 2011, East Carolina quarterback Dominique Davis completed 36 straight passes. That's pretty insane to think about, especially in 2011, that there is a quarterback out there that was able to complete 36 straight passes. How is there not any fluke where a receiver dropping the ball, uh, the pass is bad down the line of scrimmage? Like all this stuff that could happen, completing 36 in a row is tremendous, insane. It's going to be tough to beat that. In 2001, Nate Burleson recorded 326 receiving yards versus San Jose State. Didn't score a touchdown in the game. Come on. Nate had 12 catches in that game. 326 yards. Couldn't find the end zone? Kind of crazy to think about. And if I'm not mistaken, in the game before, he didn't have a catch. Wild stuff going on there in Nevada, I guess. It, um, with Oklahoma, though, they have the longest winning streak, 47 straight wins from 1953 and 1957. Obviously, the competition and talent was much, much like better in the 1950s than it is today in the 2020s. Like, no competition. Congrats, OU, on beating up on some of the – best players to ever play this sport, some of the best athletes in the history of sports. Let's go to Rice, where Jason Carter is recorded to be the smallest player of all time. Yes, he was a four foot nine, 140 pound running back that barely ever got to play. He had, he had two carries in his career and went for three yards. The positive, 1.5 wide PC, you, you gained more yards than you than you carried the balls like there's that but four foot nine 140 for a college football player pretty crazy if I'm not mistaken 2013 2014 the years that he played CFB Andre Ware stick in Texas for this one he owns the record for most passing yards in a single quarter 340 crazy let's double down as well as the most passing yards in the half at 517. That's extraordinary stuff. There's not much else to say. Andre Ware, all-timer, man. In their first football game against Auburn in 19 or sorry, in 1892, Georgia's mascot was a goat. Georgia is very well known for the Bulldogs and Ugga and everything, and you know, cute Ugga is blah blah blah. First game, their mascot was a goat. Think of how different things would be if, if, if Georgia just won the national championship as the goats. I mean, the memes make itself. The tweets create themselves. Like, it would have been kind of sick. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll move on to Adrian Peterson, who rushed for 100 yards or greater in 40 games in his collegiate career at Georgia Southern. Yeah, um, at the FCS level. Uh, if you thought I was talking about Adrian Peterson at OU, you're wrong. I'm talking about the legend. The, the, the Adrian Peterson, that's a legend. Georgia Southern, FCS dominance. Crazy, crazy stat there. How about this? 80 straight losses for Prairie View a and them. How do you lose 80 straight games? And then to break the streak in 1998, it was just a 14-12 win over Langston. 80 straight games you lost. It's, it's incredible to think about that level of failure consistently happening. It, 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 I don't know. You got to think maybe there's motivation to be the guys to get it done, but also like look in the mirror and like, Never won the game. We're never won the game again. They got it. They got it. When the Oklahoma Texas rivalry started in 1900, Oklahoma was not a state. Oklahoma became a state in 1907. Oklahoma 
in Texas, the Red River rivalry started before Oklahoma was a state. What? A Penn Stater has appeared in every Super Bowl except for five since 1967. I had to bring up the meme. You know I had to bring up the meme. It's, it's why I do. It's why I do. The longest field goal, speaking of memes, a very nice 69 yards by Swedish-born Ove Johansson. He booted it from 69 in 1976 for Abilene Christian. An impressive feat. I didn't mean to make that pun. I actually did not mean to make that pun. If I did, I would have said an impressive foot. Well, we'll move on to the next one I'm going to view. Uh, Barry Sanders rushed for 300-plus yards four different times in the 1988 season. Barry Sanders, dominance, legend, yeah. I mean, it's what we expect, right, from that guy. <laughs> like, that, that just, that's, that's one of those records that probably just stands forever. Unless someone like 4,032 says, hey, Barry, I'm, I'm about to do this, uh, I don't know, seven times, but. The 1905 season resulted in 137 serious injuries, as well as 18 or 19 player deaths. Yeah, um, I'll move on, but that happened, just so you're aware. I don't think many are aware of that, but that happened. In 1967, Brooks Dawson threw six straight passes for touchdowns. I, I forget who they were playing, but... UTEP opened this game and Dawson completed his first six passes in the game and all six went for touchdowns. It's another one of those things that you'd believe is untouchable. It's crazy that that happened. Maybe it flukily happens in the coming years. It's, it's, it's so hard to, to believe that ever happened. <laughs> but this happened. Patrick Mahomes and Baker Mayfield combined for 1,308 three passing yards in one game back in 2016. Yeah, Mahomes hit over 800 of those, but two legendary quarterbacks in their respective right. I know, obviously, one is a significantly better NFL career than the other, but hey, they, they were insanely good football players in college. And Mahomes never got his respect until he got to the NFL, but that game was a joy to watch. I recommend you go watch that back if you haven't already. And so many points scored, yards accumulated, big time plays all over the field. Seeing those two guys in their OU and Texas Tech uniforms carving up each other, carving up each other's defenses. I don't know. It was fun to watch. You should probably watch that if you haven't. Speaking of legendary quarterbacks, Joe Burrow, Bailey Zappi, they are tied for the most touchdowns in a single season with 65. Burrow set that mark in 2019. Zappi said, hey, I'm going to be responsible for 65 total touchdowns as well. They now share that insane record. Cal's Bethia O'Neill was able to have four pick sixes in the 1999 season. Just try and wrap your head around how absurd that is. Four pick sixes in one season by one player. That's, that's nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. The longest punt was recorded by Pat Brady of Nevada in 1950. Take a guess at how long this punt was. I'll give you like three seconds or pause the video. I don't know. One. Two, three. It was a 99 yard punt. 99 yard punt. I mean, talk about switching field position. Milton Hill, poor Milton Hill. He returned 20 punts in one game back in 1939. This poor guy, Milton, had to go out there over and over and over and over again and return 20 punts. Imagine the damage he was taking on these quick tackles when he was, you know, trying to catch the punt return. That's brutal, man. That, that's brutal. USC has had the most quarterbacks drafted with 17. No matter how they pan out in the NFL, 
uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. Pumping out 17 NFL quarterbacks via the draft is very impressive. Tip your cap, even if they're your arch rifle and you hate them, like me. But, hey, let's go on to Keenan Reynolds, who scored 88 rushing touchdowns in his career. That's the most by any quarterback. Obviously, play at Navy, you know, you could say, not a quarterback. I'm not going to argue, but 88 rushing touchdowns for QB regardless is is extraordinary. Keenan was um, an insanely fun player to watch. The definition of electric factory. The 22nd fact, Grayson McCall. He owns the highest passing efficiency rating in a single season, a 207.6 mark. Yeah, if you're not watching Grayson McCall and Coastal play some football in 2022, you're making a mistake. Kid is an outstanding talent. Uh, he's going to do big things at, at at Coastal in 2022. Maybe we'll see him in the NFL as well. Not uh, SC draft pick, but hey, do this dang good football. And that'll do it for 2020. For 22 facts that are very random to know, going into the 2022 college football season. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want another one of these. I could pick another one up. It was fun, you know, researching some of these records and facts and weird stuff happening. Just like and subscribe to our channel, please. It would help us greatly. And comment below if you want another. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.